Okay, so NEO has recently been going down, as well as many other of your favorite stocks, all due to the 10-year treasury bonds having that flash spike in interest, indicating inflation, which is bad for the large companies. So, where we are at right now, there's some consolidation, but there's a huge catalyst that could have very high potential for NEO coming up tomorrow, March 1st. They're going to report their quarter four, quarter four earnings, and based on previous earnings, you guys, we have seen that they have shown strong growth in their revenue and sales and car deliveries. There's some key levels that you guys want to look out for. So $40 acts as support and resistance. Consolidation right here from $48 down to $40. We saw a large dip, and it's showing extremely oversold on the RSI, which means it took that large upward trend you know that that large spike in volume right here causing the upward trend but then it went right back down so what I see right here is consolidation here's why so it went up and it went down people shorted it bought back short bought back so this is acting as support and resistance around the 41 to 45 dollar range it's hard to tell exactly where that is but I would set it around $45. That's a key psychological level as well. It's a solid number, $45, and it's not weird like $48 or $49. It's $45. With their earnings coming out, you guys, so a lot of investors will buy the rumor. You know, they're going to hear rumors. Hey, you know, NEO showing good, strong, positive trends in their revenue and deliveries. And they're going to buy that rumor. Once the earnings comes out after hours tomorrow, it could sell off even if they have good numbers because investors sometimes buy the rumor, sell the news. They don't want to deal with the volatility which with that comes with news, so they're going to get out. Based on their previous earnings, after their earnings, we saw a large increase in upward trend and on their previous earnings over here, same thing, positive upward trend. So we wanna see if it can continue that positive upward trend. If they report good numbers and you guys didn't get in any options before the market closed, you can look into the next day and see where the stock is headed. If it's sold off and there's a good buying opportunity, right now I do see a good buying opportunity because it is so oversold. 45 acting as a psych level as well, that's all good positive news. Looking into their earnings, so quarter four results will be on Monday. What their numbers show right now to investors on their website is that they delivered 7,225 vehicles in January of 2021. That is a new monthly record representing a strong growth of 352% year to year on growth. That is a good sign to investors. And investors are going to look in the forecast. What is their forecast? Are they forecasting growth or are they forecasting a neutral aspect? So if they say, you know, we expect to deliver double what we delivered last quarter, mid, rep, meaning quarter four, that is a strong positive sign. You can see a good increase in volume and price. Look into their earnings, guys. Don't get caught in the buy the rumor, sell the news, and make sure you guys are looking and doing your own due diligence. Right now, me personally, I see a good buying opportunity. I expect them to have good earnings, but I'm not a financial advisor, and this is just for entertainment purposes only. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be making a lot of good content for you guys on your favorite stocks. You'll learn new things every single day, I promise you. So make sure you like the video and comment below what you guys want to see in the future.